What is up my friends? Today we're going to learn how to put an accordion block into the product details area of a product, just like this. Uh, it's fairly simple, just a little bit of code. I'm gonna walk you through how that code works and how you can customize it. So let's jump in. And as a quick aside, if you wanna support me and the build out of more code snippets like this for Squarespace, you can get this code snippet along with dozens of other premium ones for members only if you wanna join the Code Curious membership. All right, so let's get this going. So over here in our pages, here is my store right here. So I'm gonna click into my store and let's just go into our first product, the wallet right here. So the way this setup is gonna work is I'm going to add an accordion block to my additional info area. You can see down here. And then I'm gonna use my JavaScript to look and see if the last block in our additional info area is an accordion, then we're gonna move it up right under our excerpt area right here. So let's take a look at that setup. If I'm editing our wallet right here, jump into additional info, gonna scroll down. Now this is like a weird thing with Squarespace. Uh, sometimes we get these multiple scrolling bars in the additional info area. You see this, I'm scrolling, it looks like it's the end, but actually there's another scroll area. I'm gonna put my cursor right here on the right and scroll a little more. This is just some, this is definitely a bug within Squarespace. They've got to get this fixed. Um, but you can see we have that scroll bar and then we also have this scroll bar. So it's a little bit of a mess. So make sure you're going to the bottom of your additional info area. I have added in an accordion right here. Style this up, add in whatever content you might want in here and style this up using whatever styles you want in the design area. But be sure that this block is the last block. There is no other blocks underneath here. This this is the last block in our additional info area. Now let's scroll back up to the top, hit apply, and then hit save. Okay, so now we have an accordion block, we're sure, at the bottom of our last of our additional info area right there. So now let's write some JavaScript. I want this JavaScript to be applied on every single product page on in this collection. So I'm going to add this JavaScript into our settings, advanced, page header code injection area. Because this is JavaScript, let's write a couple script tags. Um, and the first thing I wanna do is I want this JavaScript to run, because this is in the header area, I want this to run after all the content of the page has loaded, including our accordion. If we keep this code, if we run it right at the header, then the accordion may, not, may or may not have been loaded and the code's not gonna work. So I'm gonna write this first, window.addEventListener. And I'm saying DOM content loaded. So this is just saying, let's wait until all the page is loaded and then let's run this function right here. So this is my setup. We have my function uh, keyword with our opening, closing parentheses, then opening and closing curly brackets, all within our windowed event listener right there. So now let's write it here. I need two variables. I need one, the accordion. Let's look and see if that accordion is there. And then two, our event, where, or I'm sorry, our, our excerpt, like where are we going to place that accordion? What's the reference block we're using as we place this accordion? So let's say, let's create our accordion variable. I'm gonna say this is equal to document dot uh, query selector. We're just using normal CSS selector in here. Uh, and I'm going to look for the SQS block accordion. This is what Squarespace, a class Squarespace adds to every accordion block, but only if it's the last child, only if it's the very last, last block within that additional info area. So this selector is saying, make sure both of these match. One, it's an accordion, and two, it's also the last child. So if it's not that, it won't select anything. Now, let's select our, our excerpt area. Um, I could say excerpt, right? Uh, and make that the variable name, but I might wanna change this in the future, so I'm gonna call this reference block. This is just gonna be our reference block, right? And then document.querySelector, and what is this gonna be? I don't really know, so let's figure out what this is gonna be. Let's go over to my live site, let's refresh it so that the accordion block isn't there. I can open up my web inspector, hit inspect, and then we can grab our, our uh, selector here and I can select kind of any element I want right here, but I want it to be this excerpt. 
And here is the class that I'm gonna be using. You can see as I hover over here, it'll hover over the different elements we're selecting. This product item details excerpt. This is what I am going to use. And I'm going to use the append JavaScript method, which is going to place it as the last child element of this, of this, uh, this element that I've selected, the last child of this element right here. So I'm gonna copy that, Command C, and now let's paste that and do what we're selecting here. Since it's a class, we'll add that dot, and boom, there we go. Okay, so now we've targeted our accordion and our reference block. Now, let's make sure our accordion exists. And also, while we're at it, let's make sure our reference block exists, because if either one of these don't exist on the page, it's gonna error out and we might get some unintended consequences of other things not loading. So I'm gonna say, if accordion and ref block, so I'm just saying if both of these have content in them, if they don't have content in them, these will come back as false and this won't run and everything after our if in between these curly brackets won't run. But if both of these are available, if they're on the page, then I wanna grab my reference block and I want to append, append adds an element as the last child, what do I want to append? our accordion, so that variable right there. So and let's get rid of that extra space. Let's hit save, and let's see if that works. And boom, that works, and now it is there. And let's refresh it over here, and we can see that it's working here. And we can also see over in our HTML, here is that product item details excerpt that we created. And we this is a, a drop down, so all that we can see all the elements within it. We have our the excerpt right there, and then our Squarespace block accordion that we targeted. So this is how this is going to work. Um, pretty cool, pretty straightforward. On my tutorial page, I have the CSS classes for these other items if you wanna place it elsewhere. Uh, product item, product price, or our quantity, I think is down here, is there. We can target the quantity or the add to cart. So you can position the accordion really wherever you want. Oh, and lastly, let's look over here. Let me just show you what's gonna happen if we don't hit edit, because in your additional info area, you might want accordion blocks in that additional info area. You might just not want any accordion block that you place in there to be moved, right? So let's hit edit. If we move our accordion block to anywhere else that's not the last, so maybe like right before our, our five stars right there, right? So let's save this, hit apply, save. You'll notice the accordion doesn't get moved there. It stays down here. So it's not gonna pick up any accordion in our additional info area. It's only going to grab the accordion if it's the very last one in the additional info area. Okay, so that's it. If you want, I have uh, an Accordion Pro plugin that will allow you to create an accordion once and you can put it on multiple products and also put additional content in between the accordions if you're interested in a more advanced accordion plugin. Uh, otherwise, hope this helps. Hope you find this useful. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time.